Hello there, welcome to the channel. This is a new playlist that I am doing for class 10 science. In this new series, you will find all the important topics of class 10 science and I think it will help you grab some concepts and knowledge for your academics. So if you love the video, do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. So today's topic is implications of a balanced chemical equation. On the earlier video, we have studied about how to balance a chemical equation or about chemical equation. Those two videos are connected with this video. If you haven't watched them, go and watch that first. It will be easy to understand this. So implications of a balanced chemical equation means that uh, there are some uh, conditions that we have to satisfy for uh, to have a balanced chemical equation. So, so uh, I have got you three points. Those three points are uh, the chemical equation will satisfy the second law of chemical combination, which is law of conservation of mass then the second point is uh, it's clear that the total mass of an element in the reactor side will be equal to the total mass of the element in the product side so mass of reactant side should be equal to the mass of product side okay now number three therefore it can be said that the, the total number of atoms in an element in the reactant side will be equal to the total number of atoms of the element in the product side so total number of atoms in reactant side of uh, element should be equal to total number of atoms in product side of a element so these are the three conditions that we you have to satisfy before balancing a chemical equation if you know all these three points then it will be easy for you to balance a chemical equation and remember this is not in your textbook or anywhere but this is the syllabus you have to study before the final examination because this is also a topic in your syllabus which is very important.